Welcome back to Petromedia. This is an amazing story of how Boogie Van came about. Rob and his son, Rob Jr., picked up this 1969 Chevy G10 van years ago. They got it running, but like anything, Rob couldn't leave it alone. He had in his mind a mindset to make it into something spectacular. Rob went all out designing one of the world's most amazing custom van builds. Boogie Van was transformed into a beautiful masterpiece in my opinion. Rob Cleland's main goal for Boogie Van was for it to be a fun factor entertainment vehicle for anybody that likes high performance unique builds. I attended the Corvette Express Car Show event, which is in Vacaville, California, once a year in October. And when I saw Rob's van, it caught my attention instantly because it was something very unique. Rob is such an easygoing, friendly guy. When I met him, I felt like we had known each other for years. We started talking about cars and engines and vehicles and unique builds, and he invited me out to his shop called Extreme Exhaust the following day to check out the birthplace of Boogie Van. And today I have a rare opportunity to see the underside of Boogie Van. Let's go in Rob's shop right now. Rob, tell me a little bit about the specs on this build. 1969 Chevy G10. Uh, it was originally a plumbing van bought in Washington by a little old man named Otto. And it turned out that it ended up going to a tow yard and my friend Sean Hickey, who is a 9-11 fireman survivor, bought it. It was his therapy van, so he used to sit there and smoke, you know, the good stuff every day down in Pleasant Hill. I found it probably 15 years ago and still good friends with him to this day. And basically it morphed into this from me and my son and, and it ended up going to SEMA in 400 uh, it's got a spooled Ford 9 inch with 456 gears and all the exhaust is done in-house all made out of aero goodies I love the exhaust and then I noticed you have the dual caliper front brakes here 
Still has uh, three pedals because it was a stick shift van. Okay. So it's got a gas, a brake, and then the clutch is a front brake only pedal. Okay. We're doing like Australian style burnouts and donuts, and you can use it as a line lock for launching off the line. And sure. It's basically just a giant play toy. Okay. I like the artwork on the rear disc. That was done by a real good friend, Adam, same guy uh, at Blinky Striping. He's on Instagram. Uh, he's the guy's just phenomenal. You give him an idea and he will run with it. Actually, uh, he did all the artwork on the inside of the van and he also did uh, all the artwork inside my lobby on the walls. So you'll see all the little welder mascots all hand painted. Nice, on the walls. nice. Rob, tell me a little bit about these test engines you have here. 355, this is for showing customers what different exhaust sounds like, different mufflers. Uh, we dial in carburetors, it's basically just a test mule. Okay. Uh, 350 horse 327 11 to 1 that we put together out of just scrap parts around the shop just to see if we could do it amazing let's hear it Is that right? And then this is where her little sister's going to be born. She's all dirty and dusty, but all this sheet metal. This is all no, no, no mud. It's all new metal. Oh, this is going to be great. What's this one going to be named? Little Sis. Little Sis. All right. Coolest thing about this one? The way it shuts. Yeah. All the hinges are nice. Wow, it's clean. Where did you find this one at? This one was a Napa Unified School District janitor van. Cool. And so it's all, that's what I liked about it, no windows, except well, for the back two doors. I like vans and I like wagons. Oh yeah, you're like me, and I love wagons. My friend Rick, he cut, we added six inches into the fender wells. Oh yeah. So he's yeah. got the slicks that are going to go up underneath here. Oh, this is going to be a riot. My friend, he, he does all the paint. He's the same guy that did all the artwork. If you look, it's a little mini van with a turbo hanging up. Yeah, now tell me again what power plant you might put in this. Toyota 2JZ. Okay. Out of a Supra. Out of Supra, okay. Those things scream. Uh, well, it ought to with... Seventy-eight millimeter turbo. Oh that's yeah, on. that's going on the two J. <laughs> oh, it's going to sound so unique. This is all coming from Bringers Racing in Kentucky. Wow. Oh, you like this, Rob? This is my last set of burnout tires on the freaking boogie van. <laughs> Just yeah. tore the heck out of it. Yeah, thirty-year-old BFGs didn't like being spun and rolling burnouts. <laughs> no. So. They 
they sell this as a kit now. We just kind of helped them figure out some spacing and stuff for the American six hunters. And then now, dude, he, he, you can buy that whole kit right from Aussie Speed. Oh, that's cool. What year is that tea bucket? 23. 23, okay. Another 23, and I have another 23 at the house. This wow. is my first one. I, I just got to put her wheels and tires back on and kind of resurrect her a little bit. She runs. I got videos of this thing ripping donuts and everything. Do you really? Nice. Check out Rob's 1934 Chevy Coupe. This has a 383 stroker engine, a TCI TH350 transmission, 3.23 geared Ford 9 inch rear end, and Mustang 2 front end with full QA1 adjustable coilover suspension. He's going to take me for a ride right now and I'm getting pretty excited about this. So this is your shop truck, Rob? Yep, this is my little shop truck. Uh, mother bought this from the original owner in 1979. Had a big camper on it. Uh, we toured all over the uh, Western United States when I was 10, 11 years old. And uh, still ran good, but we pulled the motor out and then this was the motor out of my 260Z uh, Datsun drag car. Wow. heads uh, we put the old Offenhauser dual quad just for something that looks cool yes and then it's got a all three inch mandrel exhaust barrel mufflers uh, five inch diesel tips out back okay the Detroit steel wheels it's just a kind of an old feeder truck
Bob's best friend showed up. His name is Rick. He's also a custom car builder. He owns a shop somewhere in the area. And this is his 1966 Mustang GT convertible that's in amazing condition. This vehicle has been in his family for many years. Thank you, Rick, for allowing me to include your car in the video. Thank you, Rob, for opening up your shop to me and allowing me to shoot the video and for sharing all the information about Boogie Van, your incredible creation. A special thanks goes to all the viewers. If you like Boogie Van, please leave a comment in the comment section. And if you need exhaust work, remember, Extreme Exhaust, Fairfield, California. Rob does amazing work.